O embaixador Rei Bondim, coordenador do dossiê de candidatura de Marvão a Património Mundial, apontou o ano de 2013 para a entrega do documento à Unesco. Em declarações exclusivas à Rádio Porto Alegre, Rei Bondim afirmou que se trata de uma candidatura forte e que Marvão tem condições para ser eleito Património da Humanidade. Uh, this is a process that has started over a year ago. Uh, we have done a lot of progress uh, in preparing the dossier of Marvau for listing in the World Heritage. Uh, yesterday we had a very, very important meeting with some of the uh, top officials from the government and also from the National Commission for UNESCO. And I think, I feel very strongly that yesterday we made uh, a very important step forward. What is the next step? Well, the next step now is to uh, finalize the uh, nomination dossier, which is quite complicated, but uh, we will do that in, in a very short time. We already have all the information that we need. It is just a matter of putting it together. Uh, when does this process can be completed? Ah, it's, uh, it's quite a long process, but uh, I am convinced that uh, we will Uh, deposit the nomination dossier by the next deadline of UNESCO uh, so that uh, next year it will start to be evaluated. I believe very strongly that uh, Marvau is a very good candidate. It is a, a city which is in a very, very authentic state, very good state of conservation. There has been a lot of work that has been done here uh, to make it look uh, really good and really authentic and I think it has a very good chance. Uh, Marvão has uh, qualities to be a heritage of humanity. There is no doubt about this. Uh, Marvão is unique. It is a historic city above a mountain, very, very unique. Uh, we are emphasizing what we call cultural landscape because this is not just a city, but it's also the natural mountain and I think it is a very good candidate, yes. O município de Marvão avançou pela primeira vez com uma candidatura a Património da Humanidade pela Unesco em 1996, mas acabou por retirá-la dez anos depois, na sequência de um parecer negativo para evitar que fosse anulada. Em fevereiro do ano passado, o município decidiu iniciar um novo processo de candidatura sob a coordenação de Rei Bondim, embaixador de Malta na Unesco e presidente do Comitê Internacional das Cidades Históricas, organismo integrado no Conselho Mundial de Monumentos e Sítios.